Hey guys, it's Jojo93. Sorry for the late upload, but I've had a very busy day since I came home and more time to process. So today, me and my fiance, who's in the background right now, but you can't see her, but she did just wave to you. We saw Oppenheimer at around 1.30 today, but this is one of those movies where it takes a long time to process because Christopher Nolan is very thought-provoking with his work. Christopher Nolan is one of my favorite directors because he understands how to keep upping the stakes. Now, what you need to know about this movie, this is a non-spoiler review, so no spoilers will be found here. But what you need to know about this movie is that Christopher Nolan, this is not your, so if you like Tenet, you're like, oh man, Tenet had great action. You like the Dark Knight movies, oh man, this is great action. This is not an action movie. This is a character study about Robert J. Oppenheimer, who is the creator of the atomic bomb. So this is a historical biopic. But Christopher Nolan founds, finds a way to make this biopic interesting. We have great cast in here. And this has a star-studded cast in here. There are some cameos that we will not talk about until the spoiler review. But if you know, you know. And it's pretty cool. But the cool thing is there are big actors in this movie that are just, like, there for a couple seconds. But you recognize them. I mean, so the big people in here. So Killian Murphy plays who played Scarecrow in the Dark Knight trilogy, is our Robert Oppenheimer. But then we have Lewis, played by the one, the only, RDJ, Robert Downey Jr. We also have Florence Pugh, a member of the communist uh, community, um, as well as Emily Blunt. So you have a star-studded cast. You have an amazing group of people in this movie. Matt Damon is here as the general. So you have... So this movie is a character study about... Just literally seeing the world, somebody who is so complex in wanting to show his genius and create something that could both be a huge achievement to the world, but also create massive amounts of chaos and panic in all the worst ways. So he struggles throughout the movie with the guilt of the the eyes and the the atomic bomb, like so, and he is the creator of it. So. And the cool thing is, if you're a fan of science, like, I love science, guys. If you guys don't know, I'm huge into science and history. And one of the things I love about this movie is we get to see Albert Einstein in this movie. And it's kind of cool because you get to see how he was a part of the, his whole plan um, based on trying to study the atoms is trying to study math through mathematics and through studying atoms. We learn that he is basically discovered about this nuke, if we call it, and then so the atomic bomb, so this is not your normal type of spectacle, this isn't like interstellar, like, oh, look how pretty things are, this movie's more about the character study, and the characters at hand, like, which are, which is about Oppenheimer, and Oppenheimer was a brilliant scientist, a fusion physicist, that wanted to truly create something unique, and so everyone in this arms race is trying to be the first person, after Hitler dies, to bring the atomic bomb on people. And so this is truly a remarkable biopic. One of the best ever. Christopher Nolan has delivered just an absolutely great film. It has an incredible visual. The cinematography is gorgeous. The acting is top tier. Killian Murphy deserves an Oscar. And you gotta give an Oscar to Robert Downey Jr. He should get Best Supporting Actor. This movie is incredible. If you guys have not seen Oppenheimer, please do yourself a favor and go see it. Everyone in the world needs to see this movie right now. It's very relevant to what's going on in the world. And I think you definitely need to, to do this. It is literally such a um, remarkable achievement. And it, and it is a, an achievement on a technological level that nobody has ever done. This is a huge achievement for Christopher Nolan. One of his best work by far. I'm going to give Oppenheimer... A 10 out of 10 lightsabers. I highly recommend you guys go see this movie. And stay tuned for my spoiler review on Sunday. But until then, tomorrow I will post my favorite Christopher Nolan movies. From the worst to the best. So stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think about Oppenheimer. And what is your favorite movies for the year? Oppenheimer is now my favorite movie of the year. And I'm going to see it again on Monday. So... Can't wait to see it in 70mm. I didn't get to see it in 70. I got to see it in standard because all the shows are selling out. But 
it was an amazing achievement, but I gotta see it on the biggest screen and the loudest. And that's the thing. He finds a, Christopher Nolan finds a way to make the atomic bomb both scary, but also dramatic in in terms of like how quiet it can be. The sound work. That's another thing. The audio mixing in this movie is incredible. So multiple reasons for why to see Oppenheimer. Let me know your thoughts and have a great day. Thanks for watching.